What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. We're talking Westworld, Mikey. Yes, yes, we are. Episode three: Westworld, The Absence of Field. Three. Yes, That's right. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> haven't really looked too much into it or given much thought. This was yeah. a great episode. Dude, yeah, they've been all cool. This man. show, yeah, man, this show was fantastic. I'm, oh my god. Yeah. Here's a here, all right. Listen, we got a couple questions from people. Uh, you know, so thank you for putting those out there for us. But before we yeah. get into any of that, I just want to say that this show, I think people had an issue with the season with season two because it got very esoteric. It got very involved. There was time jumps all over the place. Well, season one, I think more even with the time jumps. No, dude, knowing. I think season two was worse. I think because yeah. season, season two started uh, in one place and then it was all that's over. That's true. It was very, it was a little difficult. I think season two was a little easier to follow uh, for me. I mean, I couldn't. I, had, I mean, maybe yeah, I don't, I don't think. Comparing we, you know, to one and knowing which timeline and who was who. I it thought just it was got a little I think, yeah, it might have just gotten increasingly like. Crazy. Yeah. But the thing, the thing is, so. <laughs> But this is this season. I think is getting criticized that it's a little too dumbed down or something. But it's like, look. Yeah, we heard that. Yeah, last week. Listen, I don't think so. I don't. I think it's a perfect right of uh, the perfect amount because they're they're giving yeah. you everything. Everyone's everything's out in the open now. We have mysteries and we're trying to figure those out. But listen, I like it. I think it's fine. I think it's perfectly fine. They're giving us answers. Yeah, it's more accessible, which is what you probably want to have it be. Yet it's still. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like it's dumbed down to a point where I'm like, they ruined the show. No, it's no, never neither, that. neither, neither have I. But, um, I mean, I think, I think the first couple of seasons we were just dealing with the park, and there was a lot going on. There was a lot of story that has to be told about what, what happened from the park from its, right, yeah, from right. its, um, from its beginning to its downfall. So I think there was there was purpose for having all the different timelines and the different characters and trying to figure out. There was a lot that they had to, that they packed into those first two seasons. Um, so now season three being on the outside, we're just dealing with now, you know, uh, for right. the, for the most part. So it's, uh, it's really cool. I mean, I, and I said this last week with like the tech stuff, I just think it's so cool. Um, almost, uh, a bit scary, especially after watching this episode and knowing how much control the Ro the, the Roho, the Rohobum, the Rohobum yeah. has, you know? Um, and what it depicts your life to be and who you can be. And we get kind of questions of remember, I think it was what the first episode when Caleb was trying to get these jobs and better himself and nothing was going to happen. Yeah. Um, he was getting denied everything. And we see why in this especially. Yeah. So just seeing some of the, the tech and how the human um, Caleb specifically, uh, they're, they're not much different than how. Dolores and the hosts were set to be how you had this pre, um, uh, this this pre-made life for yourself, right. um, depending on your social status or your class or, or any of the any of these kind of things. So it's kind of it's kind of crazy how all this information is stored, um, and that's why it's a little bit scary. Yeah. Uh, if if we head because down, we that can same see. Path, yeah, I mean, look at Google, look at Facebook. Yeah. You know what I mean. And yeah, of everybody's course. talking about listening devices and things, and it does. Uh, they do. You know, Sorry, it is what it is. It's a lot of connected. It's like it's like if you buy something on Amazon, and now all of a sudden you get nothing but ads on your phone and on Facebook and stuff about the company that you just bought. But that, from. hey, listen, that's the that's yeah. the that's the price we pay to be yeah. as connected as we are. You can't, it it, yeah. it can't be for free. Listen, uh, it sucks, but huh. what are they gonna? It's it is what it is, guys. It is yeah. what it is. Either if you don't like it, get off the grid. Don't be. Don't have a cell phone. Don't go online. Don't do, don't have Facebook. Don't do Instagram. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. It is what it is. That it's it's actually just the way of life. And unless someone's taking your social security number and buying stuff in Barbados, trying to buy mm. property in Barbados, you're fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter because your credit report, your tax, everything has already been out there for years. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Yeah. Now, we do have some questions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want to just get the questions real quick? Yeah, yeah, sure. I think the first question that everybody, I mean, we probably got the most of, and we even we even posted a poll last week um, about this. Who's in Charlotte's body? Now, right. we get in the beginning of this episode, obviously, we're seeing um, Dolores and, and, the, uh, and Charlotte and this host uh, – from month from when they first came here and when she was programming Charlotte or telling her what, what was going to happen with her, uh, what, what the plan was. So now this is, I mean, I'm kicking it around. Um, after watching this, I'm really thinking 
it's Clementine. Um, only because we see we see how how Dolores in season two kind of um, what do you call it? Like they awoken them or whatever they do when they right. enlighten them or whatever they they use the word to to these for these hosts that become um, oh. you know open or whatever you know what they I'm wake saying? Up. Yeah, they come, yeah, they, they wake come up. sentient. Yeah, and she was wasn't she like she was she was able to um, put put hosts against each other when Dolores was trying to stop everybody from going into the who made in, yeah no well Dolores when... was was stopped trying to set Clementine off to stop Maeve from sending everybody into the sublime right and and Clementine was the one that was trying to have all the hosts fight each other she can oh because she gave her other. the power right she, yeah she opened her up so right, she yeah. was like her like right hand man up until the last oh of, yeah two, okay two. okay Yep. Um, so, and she was that warrior and we saw the Charlotte with, with that pedophile guy, which was fucking creepy as hell with the dog. Yep. So it's like, she's, she said, you kind of make me feel who I used to be or whatever. Maybe. Yeah. So I I'm mean, thinking it's her. Maybe I, could be wrong. I didn't There's think about that. We do know that whoever's in there is having like, uh, it's weird because it's, she, she she's hurting herself and saying as if the spirit wants to come out of this body, but that's a new body. Like it should have no muscle memory. Like it shouldn't have any memory of hell in there. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's well, weird. The host knows who it is. Remember she holds the mirror to her face. I understand that, but the host is was. the host. So why? So where? All right. Because look, if look. It is, say it is Clementine, right? But I, okay. Right, and, she's talking about Charlotte. I thought she I was know. talking about that. It's Charlotte's persona or soul that's trying to get out because because it's not her. It's trying to get her out. I don't know. You know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's something that maybe there's something that that Dolores doesn't know, or maybe some of these these um, Delo scientists di didn't know about how well, powerful or how. Um, yeah, they but can listen. Really there, think there's a theory uh, right now. There's also a theory that it could be Wyatt. Now Wyatt okay. is. The, is was you know the alter ego of Dolores. Yeah. So if there was a way that I'm trying to remember, there's a way that it, let's talk about that for a second. If it's Wyatt, how would how would it be Wyatt? Did she did she? It was definitely she's definitely using one of the pearls that she got because there's only three left on the table. Well, didn't, remember? They put, didn't she put Wyatt in Teddy? No, and she just Teddy up. No, like she it? just she just upgraded Teddy. She unlocked okay. Teddy, and then. I think she still has Teddy. I I don't. Is this Teddy? Well, I don't four. think this is yeah, Teddy. Four. I don't think it's Teddy either. I, I I was thinking it was Teddy, but I'm just trying to wrap my head around if it being if it's Wyatt. If she just if she figured out how because remember Wyatt was like a it was like a it was her it was Wyatt and then a programming, and but then isn't she still Wyatt then? At this point, Dolores is Wyatt because Wyatt was the was the self. Wyatt was just narrative, wasn't he? No, what. Yeah, but then it became. But then it became it, it became self aware. It's tough. <laughs> it's, anyway, it's, it's tough to remember every yeah. little. I don't know. So so look, it, it still time. remains. I mean, I guess that's the. I I kind of feel like you might be right. Um, there's so many theories, and honestly, no, there's there's theories that it, it could be the Man in Black. Well, we're gonna see him next episode. You know, I don't think it's per se. Yeah, I don't you know, think and it's you brought him up either. a good point. When mm. Hale goes home, Charlotte goes home, and her ex husband's there. And, you know, they end up going to have sex and, you know, male, female aside, like whoever's in that body, is it, it or is it just because the body would be was, Abernathy trying to, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> you know, guy or something. Yeah. That's and what, what I'm was saying, Clem, like, Clementine was the prostitute. Right. Well, that was her initial so narrative. Like, that was her base was, narrative. Was, yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. So, so I don't know. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That would be the first thing she would think of is would sleep with this guy or something. I Maybe don't I don't know. What what else you got? Let's let's move to something else because my brain hurts. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. all right. So we saw some cool stuff. We were talking about it already. Um, this question is from Chris. What did you think of Caleb's the 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 thing in his mouth? They called the drip. Right. So from what we know about this thing, in a previous episode, in like the second episode, I think, or the first episode, when he was talking yeah. to the fake, his fake friend Frank, right, or something. Yeah, Francis. Yeah. Francis. He um, yeah. he's like, why don't you turn it back on, turn it back on, 
because it's supposed to, okay so so Caleb's suffering from PTSD and he's suffering mm -hmm. from depression and th I I was under the impression that this drip or whatever this device is is a medical it's like it's like what the VA gave him to suppress the the depression and have him you know like Prozac it's like a it's like an embedded type of Prozac thing where it makes him you know able to it controls his moods and I think that that thing would have con Right. If I'm not mistaken, it's, they say, oh, you know, it'll it'll even you out. Basically, it'll it'll control those moods. It'll suppress the bad stuff, give you good stuff. So he but he turned it off. Right. And in this episode, he turned they turn it back on and and control him. Now, I just thought that it was a very interesting thing to add to this show yeah. that humans there's yeah. a way to actually control humans in the yeah. way that hosts are controlled, but also in the way that hosts can be up, you know, unlocked. It's a very similar mm -hmm. thing, which yeah. in a way, which is why later on when they're, you know, when she tells him, well, guess what? You're dead now. Right. Because didn't she show that he died? They made it seem she, like. He, yeah. That, that everyone has like this pre-existing path that. Um, well, it, well, it's, it's OK. It's, it's being predicted. They're well, saying you can only you, go you're predicted to be dead want. in 10 years. Right. Yeah, They can it's, only. That's what this machine. That better in, yourself. What's it called? Insight. What's the name of the place? Inside, it's the ro the rohobum of the rohobum, right. something like. So that's is the computer so, itself. So the so yeah. the supercomputer, yeah, is that's what is right. That's what's doing all this and predicting. And she's, you know, so Dolores Dolores's idea is to infiltrate, to take control, to Stop, plug it, to, right? It's dead. Yeah. So, but my point is, is you know, she realizes in this in that whole scene which is a great scene. Um, she realizes that he is not much different than her or a controlled host. So obviously yeah. he's able to be manipulated by her because of that. So I just yeah. thought that was really cool. And so I, I just thought the correlation between hosts being the hosts and being artificial intelligence as compared to a human who it's very is similar. You can get to that point where right. they're almost the same thing. It's right. just we have some more actual natural biology in us. Right. Um, but, but if you put a little bit of wires and whatever the hell they technology they use, that we they have, they're much much more similar than anyone can think. Yeah, um, I thought that was cool. Yeah, I thought it was really cool too. Uh, again, the technology was crazy. The fact that that Dolores takes him to the diner with his where his mother more of a thirty years ago just said she was going to the bathroom and never came back and right. and uh, now well, she used them. Well, yeah, she, that's what I'm saying. She state, so. My thing about that whole scene was, I mean, it was really good. The scene with Caleb. And, oh, they're great. And to, they're, Caleb, they're both great, great together. Um, Excuse me. And uh, I wonder what it, I wonder if there was something special about Caleb that maybe this computer, this, this algorithm saw and they didn't want him to become. And they, I think they did something to the mother. I think there's something that we'll okay. see that so you um, think it goes deeper and he that, has he's not yeah, just yeah, he's not he just, just a goes, random dude that and she if you listen to the message that he's he was like she would never leave me, he was telling her all this stuff. It's not like she was a bad mother. No, but she, she had mental up, she is yeah, she was having mental yeah, problems. Yeah, but ever since yeah. then, since that moment, since she got up and went to the bathroom and never came back till six hours later or whatever, mm -hmm. that was um, the first time we as a viewer ever saw anything wrong with his his mom. Yeah, maybe. Uh, only seen her from the bed. So I think there might have been some – I don't know. I mean I could – it's a theory obviously. But uh, I was thinking uh, – yeah, well, I'm like maybe there, there's something weird about that whole scenario. Right, right. And maybe why – maybe it's like inevitable that Dolores was to find him. She sees something in him. Maybe this is um, – there's, there was some kind of conspiracy. Maybe Caleb is the son of somebody that was very important. I don't know. Oh, well, I guess, you know, I guess we'll find out. I do have one other question that I want to get to before yeah. we end the video. Uh, it's from Tom. His question is, do you think that Ciroc is real or is it the supercomputer? I don't think I don't think he's real. I, I have to agree. I actually think it's the supercomputer. I think the supercomputer. Now, I don't I can't remember. I don't know if we heard it in passing or not. I don't know when the when the creation of this computer at Insight correlates with Delos like I don't know if the timing matches up but I have a feeling like that because don't forget oh somebody underneath was buying they own 38 shares of the company 
you know, and, oh, they essentially yeah. own the company. First of all, how do you own a company at 38 shares? It's 38% of share. I don't understand that. I thought you'd, you'd have to mm. have 51%. So I was a little confused by that unless I'm misunderstanding something. But apparently they were even undercutting Delos and pulling out yeah. shares of this company. So Ciroc, I'm going to just say that computer is Ciroc. Because first I think of all, so. I mean, I, I yeah, I think everything's so too. been in virtual this virtual world. Yeah, and that woman, if you notice the woman that that um, Charlotte first met when she went to visit him, yeah. that was the same woman that Liam was meeting with in that hotel restaurant there when Dolores followed him in the first episode. That's okay because that's because yeah because they he both works work for, for him insight. because yeah. she so she yeah so Rock hired this woman to yeah. and I forget her name now but who right that who works for Sarak and and Liam that's who he was working for Liam if you remember is the guy that was the yeah. the pro programmer or the no the the son no, of the, the guy the, the, the head of, of the yeah. of insight yeah. right anyway the so, point is is yeah I think I think Sarak is the supercomputer and I think it's just hilarious that it'll be basically AI versus AI is what this is what it's you know I think it's going to be very interesting. If yeah, that no, turns out to be the case, cool so. Yeah, but anyway, that's very... that's all I wanted to say about that. We, you yeah, know, we could sit here for hours and go all over all this stuff. But the oh, real no, question crazy. is, I mean, <laughs> the real question is, Mikey, what do yeah. what do everyone out there think? What do you guys think? So yeah, that's right, that's right. Right in the comment section below. Um, again, like Chris said in the beginning of the episode, we appreciate all the questions and comments that uh, that you guys post um, before every episode. Of course, we we post it on our, on our Facebook um, Westworld group. So if you're not a part of that, join up. Uh, it's third person Westworld group. It's very easy, and um, you'll see those posts where you can just put in your Q and A stuff there. Yep. Um, just check us out at third person on all the social media outlets. Again, we appreciate you guys sitting and taking some time to watch some of our videos. Yep. Um, if you enjoy them, spread the spread the word about us. Like, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, tell your yeah, friends. It please get our wanna... videos out there. Yeah. Um, for more people to see. Um, so again, if you do enjoy them, we would appreciate you doing that. Um, stay safe, everybody. You have a lot of time to sit home. Hopefully you're doing that with this whole social distant, uh, distancing movement. Um, it's true. Stay away from your friends. Stay away from your family if you can. I know it's difficult, but we'll get through all this kind of stuff. So, or it's not. Uh, or maybe you're loving yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, that's true, right? <laughs> Some people, they've been doing yeah. this before the whole Right, exactly. We just needed an excuse, in, so. and it's like, ah, oh, no. Yeah, it gives yeah. you a lot of time to watch uh, movies and binge shows and play Xbox or PlayStation. Watch some good stuff. Go watch Altered Carbon yeah. Season 2. Go watch Ozark Season 3. Um, watch Tiger King on Netflix. Watch the Badlands. Watch Into the Badlands. I was getting there, yeah. Watch Into the Badlands <laughs> and then go and look at the um, at the end of this video. There should be the link to our interviews and stuff there, so go watch that. Uh, but that's it. Thank you very much. We love you guys. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.